Yo guys, what is up? A long time to see. Anyways, I'll be doing a reaction to five scary videos bound to make you believe. Anyways, let's go. You would hope for your family members to be peacefully resting in the afterlife when they pass. But according to these scary videos, that supposedly peaceful forever sleep seems to be full of tossing and turning. Let's start with the first one. Taken in Mexico during the Day of the Dead, a celebration where families around the country create altars to remember their deceased loved ones. This family prepared the altar as usual to remember their widely loved late grandfather. I mean, loved, except maybe he shouldn't have scared his relatives during his last ceremony. Take a look. According to his granddaughter, the shoe would stay in the same position for a long time, but when it started falling multiple times, she decided to film it. We can clearly hear the guests spooked and baffled, but was it really grandpa? If you have the laws of gravity in mind, before you make up your mind, check out this one taken at a funeral somewhere else in Mexico. Yo, wait, what? This one couldn't be gravity, surely, right? There's a chance it was a gentle breeze spinning the cross around though. But how scary is the thought that in the end, you could witness your own funeral and stay behind lurking around the graveyard for all eternity? That's exactly what seems to be happening in this next scary video. After seeing shadow figures running across this funeral parlour, it became a regular routine for these workers to record their breaks. But this time, they finally captured it on camera. Let's watch. Bueno, pues aquí estamos trabajando. Acabamos de ir a enterrar al chavo este que se ahorcó ayer. Y vamos a echarnos unas pinches cheves. Ok. Pobre güey, pobre güey. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. A shadow figure sprints past the window, but we hear no footsteps whatsoever. So one of them grows a pair and walks into the darkness. But when the door slammed, they all ran off to grab their brown spare pants before it was too late. Safe to say, you probably don't want to look too hard at the coffin the next time you attend a funeral. Something might be waiting to make you jump out of your skin. Dude, <laughs> oh gosh, this is literally torture for me right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. I swear, if I saw something like that, I'd, I'd be, my pants would be more than brown. It would... 
<laughs> it would have just been like a whole freaking spot in the back of my pants. A big brown spot. Just, oh, I don't want to go into too much information. Let's just say it'll be, it's just a lot of TMI. <laughs> Number four, the shy haunted doll. Ever since Shaheo Negron started the remodeling process of her new home, her little daughter has been experiencing strange activities at night, enough to make her screech in despair. After countless complaints about strange occurrences inside her bedroom, particularly with a doll that she claims to move on its own, Shiria decides to film that pesky Satan spawn with hopes of ruling out her greatest fear. Here is what was caught that night. Well, I'm sitting here filming my daughter's doll because since we moved into this house and started the remodeling process, We've noticed a lot of strange things, especially with my daughter's toys. And this doll, my daughter has come to me numerous times saying that she's seen it moving, mommy, it's moving across the floor. And there was one time, that's why I started listening to her, that I could have swore once I came into the room, it moved. And I'm going to do a close up of what this doll actually looks like. And it's kind of old, where I have nothing really precious or special about it, but it just has this feeling about it. And I'm just gonna sit here on my steps and record it and see if maybe she will do something for us. And I'm just sit here and watch her a little bit. And I don't know, I was, maybe see with all these orbs that's here or something. I don't know how true that is, but it's definitely something with this one particular doll. Ooh, look at these orbs. Damn. Maybe she's camera shy or something. Whoa. Did you guys just see that? What? Looks like the chair just moved, or maybe that was, I don't know. You gonna do something? Oh! What? Okay, okay. okay. Oh, shoot. The chair is moving. Whoa. Okay. Are you seeing this? This is some freaky shit. Oh, I'm about to run. I would have lost my mind right there. Holy crap. Whoa, what the shit? Crap. Whoa, what the f Just when she was about to give up, the chair began to rock slightly. This is a bit tricky. Given that someone oh could just God, be moving the chair man. from behind, and she. Dude, I almost. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I literally almost screamed there for a moment. Oh, I'm trying to like hold back my screams because I don't want to freaking piss off any neighbors right now. He never shows that area on camera. However, the recliner jumping by itself might prove that something far more sinister is at play here simply because it would be pretty easy to spot a hand touching this handle. With the camera angle, we would catch anyone trying to pull it back. Underpin that with the fact that multiple orbs were seen flying around and you know she might be dealing with a poltergeist, or worse, a Chucky wannabe. Number 3. <laughs> Sound the Alarm a huge shout out to our friend Erica Peterson, who sent this series of clips to our Instagram. Working the night shift alone is never an easy task, but you can usually rise out of the depths of fear when you tell yourself it's just your imagination. But that's something Tim Saver could not do no matter how hard he tried. When he took the night guard security job at an old excavation oh, site, he knew oh, it was going God. to be tough. Honestly. Jesus Christ, man, everything's scaring me. My phone, <laughs> someone called me. I'm sorry about that, you guys, jeez. But he never expected the regular strange things that kept happening around him. Alarms kept blaring with nobody there to set them off. Chairs moved on their own, and there were distant scraping noises throughout the whole building which he couldn't explain. There were strange smells and a crushing sense of dread that filled Tim with every step he took. He began to sense that something bad had happened there in the past, and he did everything he could to catch the strange events on camera. But the second he does, 
it all begins to spiral. It just got really cold in here. I had to turn off my radio earlier. Holy crap, man. It's jumping with static. Usually that means it's close. Hmm. Man, that's cool. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. I don't blame you, dude. I'd be, I'd be way more than nervous. Yeah, I can definitely feel something in here. Frick. No way, there's no string for that. What do you want? Who are you? Oh, Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> what does this mean? It's like, here, pal, drink some water, bro. What do you want? Well, never mind that. I take it back. <laughs> Why are you playing games? Why did you attack me the other day? What? What do you want? God freaking! Ah! Oh. The items are moving in all sorts of directions for us to even try assuming someone's pulling strings. We can clearly see that his legs are not under the table, so no magnets taped to his knees or inside the apple when it moves. And let's be honest, there's not enough room under there for anyone to be using them anyway. But from here on out, things take a turn to the aggressive side. Take a look. A power outage in one of the storage rooms was causing the fire alarm to go off. I have to turn them off manually and part of my job is to also do a walkthrough of the room. What you're about to see is the first time the entity in this facility has manifested physical aggression. Okay. Oh my gosh. Dude, guys, I am seriously getting goosebumps. My freaking arms are like, oof. I do apologize if my mic is getting, you know, you're hearing just me rubbing my arm or whatever. What's that? Or is this his hand? Oh, I gotta stop panicking. God freaking A, man. Sorry, Lord. Oh my gosh. Chills. What the frick is this? Dude, oh my gosh, there better not be a, a jump scare on me right now, man. I am freaking not ready for this. It's too late for this, man. What the fuck? could possibly be making that sound. No! Ah! Fuck.
What the hell? He could be faking it, but the juddering camera and his sliding feet tell us that we need to dig deeper into his scary clips. After visiting the area where most of the activity happens, he decided to check what was on the other side of the wall, only to find an abandoned unit which he believes to be the paranormal hotspot, so he decided to set up a camera to catch whatever was going on in there, and in less than an hour, he captured something which only made him more curious. Gosh, jeez, freaking hell. Yo, something about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Right My brain is telling me to run and never look back. My heart says if I'm already going through hell, I may as well go all the way through. I listen to your brain at that point, dude. Shoot he my. gears up and heads inside, but he is soon sent frantically clambering back to the ground floor. Why though? See that? Y'all see that hand right there? Oh my gosh. Dude. Look at that man. There's no hand right there, right? Let's go back to that. You see that? You can see the hands right there. Holy crap. That's so creepy. If he can't see that, he must get his eyes checked. <sighs> Bet you missed it, didn't you? Look closely at the Egyptian head statue balanced on the middle beam. There's a hand on it that vanishes almost as quickly as it appeared. One of two things happened here. First, this effect could have been created using software masking, which means that there's the area where the hand can move freely. And on the left side of the screen, we have the masked area hiding the person's body. The alternative? Well, it could be paranormal. Unless that hand is straight out of the Adams family, or the one hiding is one hell of a gymnast, there's no way that a human hand could move there without other parts of the body being shown on camera. But it doesn't stop there. He still isn't convinced to quit his job, even with his whole comment section telling him he's working a Five Nights at Freddy's and Backrooms mashup. Once again, a huge thank you to Erica Peterson for sending us a message on Instagram suggesting this TikTok account. What Found a scary friend? video you'd like us to feature? Hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, if you Ooh. ever had a scary or paranormal experience, send us a voice note to hello at GoosePimplesYT.com and we'll play your story on our second channel, Goose Pimpling Stories. Number 2. Witch's Brew 
When the year draws to a close and the nights get colder and darker, there's no better time than stupid o'clock to go out exploring. I At agree. least, that's what the dude from Zona Paranormal Veracruz thought when he decided to investigate this notoriously spooky cemetery after rumours that it had been used by a mysterious group of people to perform strange rituals. But what he found during his investigation wasn't your average poltergeist opening a door or moving a statue. He found something a hell of a lot scarier. Take a look. Dude, I don't care what y'all are believing, but if the moment I'm at that freaking graveyard at that freaking time at night and I just heard someone go, hands, I found, I'll be like, yeah, I'm out. I, I can't. I would be like, yep, it was nice knowing y'all. I don't care. I'm leaving. Bye. No, yep. Do your thing, girl. Shoot. I'm out. Hola. Fuck, dude, why would you say that? Buenas noches. ¿Quién es? By the looks of it, he accidentally stumbled into the occult. Uf, son mi gente, son dos personas. Hola. ¿Quién es? Son dos viejitos, raza. Son dos viejitos. Oye, 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 ya le dijo, ya le dijo. Ya le dijo, ya le dijo. Ya le dije, ya le dije, ya le habló, ya le habló, mija. Hola. In a desperate attempt to ward off any demons before it's too late, he decides to distract them. ¿Quién es? Buenas noches, disculpe. Ando explorando. No vengo a hacer ningún mal. Me está tronando. Me está tronando el árbol. Son unos señores, son unos señores. Vean esto, vean esto, vean esto. Vean esto, mi gente. Vean esto. ¡Hola! Ya está agarrando piedras aquel. Vean, 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 vean. Toda la brujería, mi gente. Vean toda la brujería que tienen aquí. Estas personas. ¿Qué están haciendo? ¿Qué están haciendo? ¿Qué están haciendo daño. ¿A quién hacen daño? And when his back is turned, he gets pushed even further into the cemetery. ¿Dónde estás? No te veo. ¿Dónde estás? Scared, hurt, and lost, as all hell at stupid o'clock, he begins to try and find his way back. Of course, this could all be easily staged, but we all heard the local stories of desecrated graves and pissed off grave diggers. What do you think? A brilliant idea to investigate a cemetery at stupid o'clock. Let us know. Number 1. The Manor House While on some kind of tour with her friend, this girl records what she once thought was just some beautiful scenery. But when she watched the footage back, she froze with fear. Take a look. Ada yang tahu rumah ini? Rumah pengabdi setan. What the Nih, fuck? Pengabdi. Bet you missed it, didn't you? No, Keep I a close eye on the top window at the very beginning of the clip. 
there is a figure with what looks like a ghostly white face standing at the top of the house. Ooh. It could be somebody playing a bit of a prank, but huh. why didn't they just stand there waiting to be seen? Surely, if you were trying to scare people, you would do something to invoke a reaction. You wouldn't just turn on your heel and walk away, would you? So who, or what the hell is up there? Dude. Let us know what you think in the comment section. That dude looks way too pale to be, a, to be in a normal life field person. trip. What? Wait, what the hell? What the frick? Wow. Oh, it's like a horror film. That was crazy. <laughs> Is there someone on board? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> the weirdest thing here isn't even the fire or the lights going off. It's the fact that something made the bus start and cross the road by itself, pulling a 180 turn with nobody behind the wheel. Maybe the fire somehow started the ignition, but it's a lot more fun to think of some kind of fiery spirit taking its chance to drive away. Did it freak you out though? Well, get ready, because this terrifying compilation full of creepy stuff caught on camera is perfect for you to watch next. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Oh man. <laughs> That's those dumb were freaking creepy you guys. I know. I'm just, I do apologize for yawning. It's just, you know, sometimes you get tired from doing so many things all at once today. I wasn't due to work. I had a day off, so <laughs> to my supervisor that's watching Yo, now I, I'm just so exhausted because I'm just like, uh, I had a stream and honestly record and all that jazz. But anyway, yeah, what are your guys' thoughts? How would you handle a paranormal activity like that? Like, you're just minding your business and then something like that happens to you. Like, you just get shoved, you see a freaking hand or so, it's just like, you see a hand but no physical body of like that from the head head and shoulders to the legs and feet like I don't know if you're asking me and I just saw one hand just pull like from the Adams family just you know just grab something rest his hand on something and then slowly bring it back yeah I I would do more than just back up I would probably just backed up so fast slow slam that door closed Get a fucking get screws, drill that sucker, shut, seal it, whatever. Like I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking like bull. That's bull, dude. There's no way. But I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? As far as everything else goes, with the whole freaking cemetery, see a person just try talking to Satan like, uh, "We give me you." I'm like, uh, "Yeah, uh, I, I don't." You guys can say. You're a wuss. And I honestly say you're damn right. I don't care. There's no way for me. There's no reason for me to just go. Hi. Who, who are you? And then that person's like. Shit. Ruined my conversation with Satan. Damn it. I would have been like. My bad man. I, I, I was just curious why you're here at this time of day. Time of night rather. The hell's going on? I just come here. I see freaking lights. Turns out you're freaking being pulling Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Jeez, what are you planning on summoning? Blue Eyes White Dragon or something? You know, I don't know. I don't know what these people would be doing. But I, it's just crazy to just see all that. I don't know. 
when you, when you see spirits, you feel their presence near you, the best thing to do, I don't know, is just don't say anything bad. Don't go, oh, you're an old piece of shit. You're dead anyways. Just respect the dead. Same reason you would want to be respected being alive. You know, that's just me. I don't know about y'all, but yeah. Anyways, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on the whole video? Write down in your comments below. Like the video, comment down, and subscribe to help grow the channel. I just want to say I'm extremely grateful for you guys. You guys don't know how much you guys are really making a difference in my life, rather. Just as much as I hope I can make a difference in yours, too. So anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye-bye.